today's painting I'm really excited about. I kind of love it, so I hope you guys do too as well. Um, I'm continuing on with my using up some colors that I don't use very often, and I'm going to do vermilion, which um, I have another paint painting that I use that in with similar colors, so this is the second one. I'm not sure what order I'm going to end up releasing them in, so probably I'll do this one first and then the next one, so I have different a little bit different in each of them, so go ahead and watch both of them, but I figure I'll put this one out first. Sometimes if I do the same colors, I notice that people don't watch the second one, and I think that this one is better than the next one, so I figured I'll just go ahead and do this one in case you don't have time to watch both. So vermilion, I, I don't see a lot of people using that in fluid art, so I think it's a pretty cool color. It used to be made out of cinnabar or mercury sulfide. So I'm kind of glad that we don't have to deal with those types of chemicals to do our painting nowadays. But um, I just thought it was a pretty neat color. And I have Amsterdam, which is more orange. So you can see here that this one's red, even though I did add a little bit of red to it. So since I'm not sure on the release order here, I'll show you my secret again. And that's this interference gold layer next to the reddish color to keep it from turning pink. So I could put white on top of that or gold. Gold next to red sometimes makes pink for me anyway. I never would have guessed it, but using this vermilion, trying to use them up, actually I'm a pretty big fan of it. I don't know if it would have worked exactly the same with just a plain old red, but I'm going to test out a little bit more. And I'm kind of glad that I was forced to try using some red. And I'm, I really like this. It has a really tropical feel to it. So these wandering straight pours with the multiple cups take um, a little bit more time to make the video because there's multiple cups being filled and poured. And so the videos end up being a little bit longer. So just for, just so I know what you guys would like, would you prefer that I just keep the tilting speed? At, I usually have it around 2x or 2.5x. Um, when I see tilting sped up too much, it, it gets a little jerky and I don't know, I find that hard to follow. But I just wanted to find out if you guys would prefer that I super speed the tilting or just leave it and let you guys click through if you don't want to see the tilting. Just let me know in the comments which you think would be better. I mean, I like to leave the tilting in there for people that are new and learning it. But sometimes I feel like I'm speeding it up so much that even me, me and my, myself having done the painting would have trouble following it. So I know I mentioned it in one of the red-violet videos. I thought that I had my paint a little bit too thick, and that's why I wasn't moving very fast. But it, on this one, actually, the cups, you can see they kind of um, they start to blob out at certain times. So I had to stop way early on the pouring, and I, I wasn't sure why. I'm not still not sure why. And it seemed to be multiple colors, like white and blue at some point. So it'll just kind of stop like that right there. And I really don't know why I did that, and it made it very hard to tilt, so I had to speed this one up even more. But in the end, it didn't really affect the outcome. I'm just still kind of stumped by it because it was it was white in one cup and it was red in another cup. I'm still not sure what happened. So this many cups of paint, it should have been like major overkill, but I actually do, did struggle to have it covered, um, covering the canvas, and it started to not move after not too long definitely regretting adding this triangle in here and you'll see this as a pattern. I'm just not sure what to do with these triangles in between the little other pores and this one was the end of the cup and it was definitely too muddy to be doing that and I'll totally regret adding that in.
I decided that I can't really live with this one triangle. It's not really the same color as any of the rest of it, and I got like a muddy green color. So I'm going to go ahead and pour over it. It doesn't work out perfectly, but I definitely think it helps at least the color blending a little bit more. And for some reason, I totally did this with my left hand, and I, I don't know why, um, but it made a cool little pattern that you'll see at the end on top of each other. I must have skipped a little, but... It dried beautifully. Um, I love this little weird section I did with my left hand. It gave like a almost like a 3D effect there. Well, it's kind of strange, but I sort of like it. And I think that you can tell if you look really closely on the little parrot colored feathers, um, you can kind of see where the interference gold is. But yeah, I think it's pretty successful at keeping too many unwanted colors mixing together. I actually added green in here, so I can't tell if that's mixing that I didn't want, but just showing you where the interference gold was there. It leaves kind of like a little haziness, um, but I'd rather have haziness than muddy colors. But I definitely think that these look like parrot feathers. It's just a happy little tropical pour. I hope you liked it. Mm -hmm.